how we are going to convert any of a number system to binary language that means computer can understand only zeros and ones so in order to do that we have a number system here we will be learning regarding the uniform resource locator that is url and html file along with some of the content with respect to the CSS. You have to write completely first and second question from a sub question B or you have to go with a B or if you wish to go with a B then you have to answer both first and second question. everybody a warm welcome to one and all welcome to the very first session that's all regarding introduction of a bca's first semester subject called fundamentals of computers i'm rohini ts department of computer science with yashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru so when it comes to the fundamentals of computers here the course code is cac01 and we have it is of three credits fine that's all you need to know when it comes to the introduction of the subject called fundamentals of computers. So before getting to know the subject, first let me see about the agenda of our today's session. We're going to learn about what are the prerequisites we require. That means in order to get into this subject, what is the previous knowledge that I must have in order to understand the concept of this subject. And also I will be uh, discussing regarding what is the learning outcome. So now I got to know what is prerequisite. What should I know before getting into the subject then what and all can we expect after the satisfactory uh, what learning of this subject that's all regarding learning outcome and also I will be discussing what are the number of units we have and which are those along with that I will be discussing regarding the internals how much will be the internal mass then I will also be discussing about the examination pattern along with the lab do we have or not and at last I will be discussing regarding what are the textbook and reference book that we have to study that's all regarding this agenda let me get into our today's session first here you can see that prerequisites what do you mean by prerequisites here so when it comes to the fundamentals of computer here only you are learning from the scratch of this fundamental things about the computer so before that you must at least know what is computer what is input device output device and all other than that from the scratch i will be discussing about this subject in my coming session so when it comes to the prerequisites you must have a computer knowledge that i can say basic computer knowledge then what and all we can expect after the completion of this subject or what are the learning outcomes can we expect from this fundamentals of computer you will be understanding the introduction to computer you are going to get to know what is computer and what are the different input and output devices we have how it will going to work and what is the classification and its anatomy and constituents and its architecture of microcontrollers and also you will be able to understand the different operating system along with its commands we are taking a unix as a major operating system here and along with that you will be understanding what is its functions and how it will go Going to be classified then when it comes to the database you are also going to learn about the database in short that is dbms that's all also you are going to learn from the subject after this database you will be learning the internet basics you will get to know what are its features application what do you mean by dns or a domain name system and how we are going to browse email searching and all that we will be getting to know then we have a web programming basics and its introduction of html and CSS programming all these are the outcomes that you can expect from this subject that is fundamentals of computers then how many units we have totally we have three units in this uh, subject called fundamentals of computer when it comes to the unit one it's all regarding fundamentals of computer you will be learning what do you mean by this computer introduction its characteristics and how it got evolved and what is its classification and what are the different types we have and what is the organization of this digital computer and also you will get to know regarding the number system how we are going to convert any of a number system to binary language that means computer can understand only zeros and ones so in order to do that we have a number system here along with that we will be learning regarding the boolean algebra 
that's all regarding this uh, unit one and also we are going to have a translator programs and digital computers and also we will be learning regarding algorithm flow chart every content with respect to this fundamentals of a computer that you will be learning in the unit one so when it comes to the unit two we will be having two things here one is anatomy of computer and another one is regarding operating system fundamentals so when it comes to the anatomy there we will be learning what are the functional and uh, what are the different components we have in a computer and also we are concentrating on the cpu along with the microprocessor storage unit and then input and output devices what are the different input and output devices we have how it will going to work how cpu and memory works that and all we will be learning with respect to the anatomy then when it comes to the operating system as i told earlier we are giving more importance to the unix operating system along with that you will be having a commands in order to communicate with that and also i will be discussing regarding what are the different functions and its classification and what are the application program system program we have how this operating system will going to be helpful for us everything that you are going to get to know in the unit number 2 fine then in the unit 3 it's all regarding introduction to database management system that's called dbms so in this you will be getting to know regarding this database management system how we are going to communicate with that dbms that's all regarding this sql or a structured query language programming and also you will be learning how it is efficient how dbms is efficient than the file system and why it will be used and what is its classification of sql what are the different commands we have dml dcl tcl all these are uh, commands you will be learning under this sql next we have a internet basics here when it comes to the internet basics you will be understanding its introduction part and features of internet and internet application where and all can we use what are the different services we can expect from this internet and its logical and physical address then also you will be learning regarding the isp that is internet service providers then we have a dns or domain name system at last you will be having a web basics so when it comes to the web basics you will be learning its introduction to web and what do you mean by web browser what are the different web browser we have then what do you mean by http and https which is more secure and also you will be learning regarding the uniform resource locator that is url and html5 along with some of the content with respect to the css or a cascading style sheet so these are the three units that you have in all the units surely you are going to get 20 20 20 marks in your main examination so be cautious regarding all these content let me move to the next slide that's all regarding 60 40 what do you mean by 60 and what do you mean by 40 here it's all regarding your examination pattern so when it comes to the 40 that is format your assessment or your internals and this is what external examination marks 60 marks and 40 marks totally it will be for 100 marks this is what you need to get 100 on 100 fine let me move to the internals part here as i said earlier this will be for 40 marks and that is also considered as what formative assessment in this 40 marks how will be the marks distribution totally you are going to get two internals here internals 1 and internals 2 both are mandatory so this will be converted into 20 marks and another 20 is all regarding your behavior in a class and how we are going to submit your assignment and also regarding seminar how about your performance everything will be included for other 20 marks that's how you are going to get 40 marks internally then what about the examination pattern how will be the question paper pattern that's all regarding 60 marks you need to understand one thing in the 60 marks total you are going to get only four questions in your examination only four questions will be there in your examination question paper so first three question 1 2 3 it's all regarding part a next we have a part b that is what question number 4 only fine then how about the mass distribution as i said earlier we have a part a in this part a each question consists of 15 marks 15 into 3 you are going to get 14 5 marks 
So all the three questions are important and all the three questions are mandatory. You have to answer one, two, three. That means all the questions you have to answer. When it comes to the question number one, there you are going to have two question in it. One is A or B. So you need to answer either a sub question A completely or sub question B completely. In this again, you are going to get question number one, question number two. Here also question number one, question number two. So, and the marks distribution can be anything. It can be what 9 plus 6 or 10 plus 5 or it can be 8 plus 7. So, in this pattern you can get or you can expect the question marks or uh, the marks for this part A questions. So, totally it will have three questions. You need to answer all the three that is one, two, three and each question will going to have two sub question. In each two sub question you have to choose whether should I go with A or B. Then you have to write completely first and second question from a sub question B or you have to go with a B or if you wish to go with a B then you have to answer both first and second question. Then you can't expect the marks lie. If I am answering one question from A and another question from B then you can't say I answer two question and I want 15 marks. That should not be the case. That will not be the case actually. So, you need to answer two sub question from A or you have to go with B. So, whichever the part that you are choosing whether A or B, you have to answer completely from that part. So, same pattern will be applied for 2 and 3. Question number 2 and 3. Okay. Then, what about this part B? Part B is all regarding 5 marks question. So, it is all regarding 5 marks question. You are going to get 5 questions here. So, uh, let me consider A, B, C, D and E. You will be having 5 questions. Out of this 5 questions, you need to answer any 3. So, you need to answer any 3. So, 5 into 3 will be 15 marks. Totally 45 plus 15 will be of 60 marks here. Okay, this is how will be the mass distribution. You need to answer any three in the part B that is question number four in that A, B, C, D, E will be there in the question paper pattern. I hope you all understood regarding this question paper pattern along with the mass distribution. It is of easy in order to get 60 on 60 in the examination but you should not leave any of the unit in order to get complete mass. I hope you all understood regarding this question paper pattern. Let me move to the next thing that is all regarding lab. Do we have a lab for this subject? Yes, you do have. That is all regarding IT or information technology lab and its course code is CAC01P and it is of 2 credits. It will be for 2 credits and here also you are going to get 50 marks, 25 marks is for your internals and another 25 marks will be for your main lab examination. This is of lab examination. Okay. Then how will be the marks distribution? We are going to have two part. One is part A and another one is part B. So you are going to get one question from part A. That is if you are writing and if you are executing, you are going to get 10 marks. In the part B same thing. If you are writing and if you are executing the content, then 10 marks. Then what about another 5 marks? So here 2 marks will be for Y1 and 3 marks will be for record. So, totally you are going to get 25 marks. So, it is of 2 credit and its subject uh, course code is what CAC01P. So, the subject or the laboratory name is IT or Information Technology Lab. This is all regarding your lab pattern. Fine. Next, let me move to this textbook and reference book. So, here I have mentioned the textbook and reference book here. So, with the help of these books, it will going to surely help you in order to get a good mask. Whatever the content we have in all the three units, that content you can see in all these books. So, you need to uh, buy or you need to go with a soft copy of any one of these textbook or uh, reference book for the, for the study of this fundamentals of computer. I hope you all understood regarding my today's session that is introductory class of fundamentals of computers. Let me meet you in the next session. Until that, keep learning, keep on growing. Thank you.